going to demonstrate how to upload your Aftermarket Assassin's tunes to your PowerVision CX if you bought the PowerVision CX from another place and not from Aftermarket Assassin's. This is a really easy process. Uh, if you're not good with computers or can't find somebody around you who is good with computers, you can send it to us and for $20, which includes return shipping, we will load the tunes on for you and send it back. You can keep the current tune in your vehicle that you already have in it. Uh, we just need the actual Power Vision box itself and we'll load the tunes on it, send it back to you. So that's another option as well. Otherwise, if you're decent with computers or know somebody that is, this is very, very simple to update. Um, you want to make sure that you plug your Power Vision into your vehicle if you've already tuned with it or plug your Power Vision into your Razor at all uh, using you know this end here. Uh, you don't need to do that. You, you don't need to plug it in again. It already is in there. Uh, it knows what vehicle you have. It grabbed all the information from it. All you have to do is plug the Power Vision in. You don't have to pair it. You don't have to do anything like that. You just have to plug it in and that will update the information uh, what is actually in your ECU and put it in a little file on the Power Vision, which is what we need to write the custom tuning. So once you do that, you just want to take your supplied USB cable and plug that into the slot on the bottom side. It's got a plug in it. And just pull the plug out and plug that in. Find the USB port on your computer. Anyone will do. Plug the power vision in. And you'll hear your computer make a noise. And you can see right here on this left hand bar if you have your folder open. Uh, we'll exit out of this just so you know. I uh, should have a folder icon down here like this. File Explorer, click on that. In the left hand bar, you might have to scroll down. You want to click on Power Vision G. That's your G drive. Right now, you can see all the tunes that I've currently got in it. Uh, that doesn't really matter. We don't need that. There's a file in here that says PV underscore info. This is the file that we need. So basically, um, what we're going to do here, this is Gmail, every operating system, every email, everything could be different, but you're just going to need to attach that to an email. So we're going to hit compose here. We're going to pull this folder back up. We're going to take this PV info. And we're actually going to drag with Gmail and drop it right in here, and it's going to attach. Uh, that's really all we need from you. You can just send that over, aftermarketassassins at gmail.com. Put the subject as your name or whatever you'd like to. Uh, we should already have your order on file online or over the phone. Just send this file over to us. Once we get it, we will write the tunes. And then we will send them to you and it will look like this. Uh, again, this is a Gmail platform. But we have our three tunes here. And you just want to make sure you download all of these. Uh, on Gmail, there's a download all right here. So we're going to click that button. And those have downloaded. We can click the arrow here. Most browsers have an arrow like this, and you can hit Show in Folder. That's a great option. So go Show in Folder. And you can see it's Tune Files Zip. So we want to extract those files. So we right click on that, hit Extract All, hit Extract, and then it pops open our three actual Tune Files uncompressed, unzipped. That's what we want to highlight all of them. I'm going to right click, hit copy. Then again, we want to go in the left hand bar. You need to make sure your power vision is plugged in again here. And you want to right click and hit paste. That's going to paste those items. If it asks you uh, if you want to copy everything in its properties, always say yes. That's as easy as it is. Those are actually loaded in your Power Vision right now. Easy as that. One step you do want to do when you load these Power Vision, if you didn't get your um, Power Vision CX after March 15th, is when they updated the firmware to the latest version, you want to make sure you update that. So to update your firmware, This isn't a necessary step. You can plug in and try to tune at this point in time if you don't have the right firmware and it gives you any sort of error, then you need to update your firmware. So if you get that error, uh, then do this step. So if you go to aftermarketassassins.com, 
We'll go to the home page here, click on tech, and then we have a link right here to the download center. This will take you to DinoJet's website. And this will show you all the downloads that they have available. If you do not have their software yet, you're going to need it. That's the first one here. So you want to click that, download it, uh, unzip that file as well, and then install the software, go through that. After you're done with that, you want to go down here to firmware and download the latest version of firmware. Uh, right now it's 315 2017. They'll have other updates. Um, I always want to make sure you have the latest firmware update. That way everything works smoothly between uh, tunes and tuning, and, and that's just a good way to do it. So download the firmware. Uh, once you download the firmware, you would then open up your software, and it should be a bar just like this. Once this is open, you go to Tools, and then Manage Hardware. So this is going to show you that your PowerVision is connected. Make sure your PowerVision is plugged in via the USB cable. And you can click this Install Firmware over here. At this point in time, you would want to go probably to your Downloads folder is where it went to. And I don't have any firmware in here, but it'll normally be in here. You can double click your firmware and that will update automatically. And then you can, un once it's done updating, you can unplug your power vision and then go back to the tuning process and everything should work correctly if it didn't before.